Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. If this reading hits home for you, Taurus, I encourage you to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification so you are aware of when I upload these readings for you. You don't want to miss out. I am available for personal love readings should you guys need one. All right. All the details are in the description box. All right, let's jump right in, Taurus. What messages do we have for my Taurus folks out there? Clear messages. What's going on with Taurus? Give me the challenge that Taurus may be facing with, with regard to love, with regard to their love life. All right, the challenge for you guys. Ooh, the tower. So this could be a big, big shakeup, okay? Um, a lot of big changes going on. A lot of things where you're not sure what's going on, what's happening. Um, you could be feeling very much unstable right now, Taurus. It could have been an unexpected event or clashing between someone in particular in your life. Um, there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainty, okay? Big, big shakeups. This is, uh, it could be something even more... I would say severe, <laughs> um, like an exposure of something that really knocks you to the ground. It could be Scorpio here. And we have the five of pentacles in verse. So whatever this tower is, whatever it looks like in your love life, um, Taurus, it's telling me that there's someone that you are now at a distance from. So maybe this was some kind of head-on collision you had with someone, some kind of disagreement. Because it looks like you're in this place of feeling distant from them. This is someone that may be feeling um like they've been put out in the cold by you they may feel as if you block them okay it's gotten you guys feeling a little bit chilly okay a little bit cold all right let's see the current energy taurus is the eight of swords in reverse we have the eight of wands and the sun in reverse Taurus, there's someone in your life that really, really wants to communicate with you right now. I really feel like there's a need and desire for change, for movement, for progression. But I feel this person is unsure of what to think. They may not know where they stand with you. I feel this person is left in the dark. Um, it's keeping you both feeling very stuck right now. I mean, the Eight of Swords and Versus trying to free oneself from the mind, right? The conflict, the turmoil, overthinking. I think you both may be overthinking something right now and it's preventing you both from taking action. But one thing I am seeing is that you both do want action. You both want change. You both don't want to stay in this place where you are right now. But it's like, I'm not happy with the way things happen. Your person's not happy. And it's kind of like, well, things are kind of not moving. So this could be a Leo you're dealing with. In the past, we have this temperance energy, okay? Sagittarius, four cups, and the three of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like something here recently, uh, Taurus, um, someone had... Someone figured that I would just be patient with this whole situation. So this could be someone not talking to you because they feel the need to kind of hold back, hold still, let things kind of settle. I also feel this is someone who feels as if they were to reach out to you, you would reject them, you would push them away, you'd not be interested. Okay, so it's telling me there's something here about where you and this person are not on the same page. You may feel very differently about a situation. You have this perspective and they have a very, very different perspective. And so there's some collision, right? So I feel that there's something here about let's be patient. Let's wait to see how things play out. Let's not force it. Let's not put too much pressure on it. Now, on your mind, Taurus, is this Ten of Pentacles in verse Ten of Cups and the Judgment. Two tens here. I feel, Taurus, um, this shakeup regarding your stability, okay, Ten of Pentacles could be about a commitment or relationship. It could be affecting everything regarding your home, your daily life. Um, it's requiring you to make some kind of decision because I think that you want to get back to this happy place, okay? There's something here about you wanting to get back to this place where you're happy or in this happy space. So it's going to require you to make some kind of decision. We're going to see what that's all about. Now, in the foundation, Taurus, we got the Seven of Pentacles. In reverse, we got the World card, the Five of Wands. And why this is happening is the King of Pentacles in reverse crossed by the Knight of Swords. 
So I do feel with this <laughs> Mercury retrograde energy, there's definitely some kind of miscommunication here. Um, I feel there's a lot of tension, drama, rivalry, competition, five of wands, and the knight of swords in verse. There's definitely something here that maybe someone said popped off and wish they hadn't said it, okay? Um, and I feel like that's why you and this person may not be talking or there's some harsh communication back and forth or, you know, you, was, you said, you know what, I'm not going to talk to you anymore, okay? There's that energy. This person is doing a lot of thinking and reflecting. I feel like they definitely see you as someone who was very much valuable to them. There's a good friendship, maybe a foundation here. Now, the world card could be indicating of um, some kind of unexpected change happening behind the scenes. You may not be in control of it. Your person may not be in control of it, but it's happening, okay? So let's see where this is going to go. As far as the uh, the near future, what is this um, happening for Taurus? What's coming in? Three of Swords in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and a Page of Swords in reverse. Someone is really hurting, and I feel that it's not until someone really addresses why they're hurt, why they're disappointed. Um, it's almost like the communication is still going to be somewhat stuck. I feel with the Page of Swords in reverse, there's someone who's still having a really difficult time opening up and communicating freely. I feel this is someone who could be watching you from a distance, Taurus, instead of talking to you um, face to face. So let's get some more clarity here. Let's see where this can go. You can always change the outcome, y'all, right? Let's start off with the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. One more good shuffle for my Taurus crew out there. All right. Give me clarity on this tower. What is this tower about that's gotten uh, Taurus and this person kind of at opposite ends of the spectrum? Why is a tower here? This is the challenge. The Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups in reverse, okay? So there was some kind of opportunity or commitment or offer that was being extended. And I feel... I feel something here got jeopardized, someone sabotaged it, and it's got this person feeling left out. The Six of Cups in verse, I almost feel like someone um, here may have went back to a past lover. Someone here may have found out that someone went to a past person or situation that could have been part of what that tower was about. Um, however, I feel like this is where things stand right now as well, and that could be something you guys are having to overcome. That could be the challenge, right? There's some bad memories of the past. It's like something has happened, and it ended on a bad note, and it's kind of like, what do we do now? You both are thinking about what has happened, and it's both it's gotten you both feeling... <sighs> Really sad, disappointed, but Five of Pentacles feeling alone, feeling alone, missing each other. So let's see what the Eight of Swords is about. A lot of overthinking here. Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in verse. I feel a lot of you guys are in your head about someone here. Maybe you felt that we're not faithful, that we're not loyal, that we're not committed to you. There's someone here with the Seven of Swords in verse you feel you can't trust because you found out something this person did. They may have lied, cheated, went behind your back, did something. There's something you found out and you feel like I can't look at you the same way. But I do see some kind of desire for movement or change. Why is the Eight of Wands here? King of Wands and the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this could be a fire sign who still wants to move forward with you. They've been doing a lot of thinking and feeling as if they did not invest properly. It's like the way they acted was not a true reflection of who they are and the character that they are. So this is that person who was doing a lot of thinking about, you know, what they did, why they did it. Um, they certainly see you as valuable to them. Why is the sun in reverse? Could be a Leo Sag Aries here. Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel someone here hit a third party. This could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone here may have not been honest to you with the Sun in reverse or was not telling you something regarding a third party or their dealings with a third party. And that's why you and this person are not seeing eye to eye. Okay, I don't know who this Queen of Cups is, but there could be someone like a mother figure. It could be um, male or female. It could be a past person. It could be a, a an ex or someone that they were dealing with romantically involved with there was something that you didn't know and i feel like there's something you may have found out that may have caused this tower moment okay so give me the recent past the four cups someone felt rejected five of wands and the seven of wands in verse yeah there was a lot of uh conflict competition it was like why do i have to fight for your love someone felt as if like have I not shown you and proved you that I do care for you and I love you? You know what I mean? It's like, I wouldn't do this to you, so why did you do this to me? So I feel like there's the energy of a lot of conflict and someone feeling 
as if they weren't good enough or they've been pushed away or there's there's definitely that rejection here and i feel towards the seven of wands it's almost like you're really fighting for something and then you get to a point where it's like why is why am i even fighting for this person so I do feel like there's been a break. The temperance could be much needed time for a break. The tower and a burst. So there's definitely an avoidance of a situation. Some of you guys, your person just stopped communicating and stopped reaching out because they didn't want to uh, escalate things with that tower. So they avoided you completely to kind of let things cool off with that temperance. Okay. Why is the three of pentacles in reverse? The star in reverse and the four of swords. Also for this person is very stressed and anxious about what they did. They know they were wrong with the star in reverse and they're not really sure how they can fix it. So what they do is kind of stop talking and go silent on you. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you feel like this person hasn't even addressed what they've done. They kind of just disappeared. Well, that's why. Because they know they did wrong. They're guilty as hell. Okay, and they're kind of like, well, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Um, I know I'm wrong. Taurus won't ever understand why I did it. I don't even know under, understand why I did it. So there's the energy of avoiding you, um, avoiding some kind of conflict with the Four of Swords and removing themselves from the situation entirely, okay? So let's see what this judgment is about. There's some kind of decision that you're having to make, Taurus. The Fool and the Three of Wands in verse. Some of you guys are having to make a decision if you want this new beginning with this person, what that new beginning will look like. And do you want to keep waiting for them? And if you wait for this person, will they actually make you happy? Will this new beginning be what you want? Okay, the Ten of Cups and the Fool. So it's like you want this new beginning with this person. You'd be perhaps willing to wait for it. But it's like, would that be the best decision for you, Taurus? Because it's almost like you would be taking a risk here, right? The fool comes with risk. And the fool is like, well, I'd be jumping into this new opportunity only to disappoint me. Because at the end of the day, Taurus, you just want to be happy. Right? Six of Wands and the High Priest system of Earth. I also feel like, you know, this is about you being successful, wanting to be victorious, wanting to achieve something. And it's kind of like, if I'm not going to be on a path to achieve that, what's the sense of revisiting this decision and waiting for this person i also see the high priestess in verse you feel taurus as if something here is still being hidden maybe you feel like this blow whatever you found out with the high priestess in verse whatever is coming out and being exposed is a bit too much how can i be victorious right um can i honestly look past this person what they've done and have a victory so these are some of the things that are going through your head this could be an aries or a pisces that you're dealing with all right, let's see what's going on in the foundation. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? Eight of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles in verse. So what I'm seeing is that this person is realizing something amongst all the conflict that they've created. They've been doing a lot of thinking, reflecting, right? They didn't invest properly. There was great potential here. They ruined it. This is someone who wants to change. Eight of Pentacles. They wanting to um, use their time differently, you know, rebuild the connection eight of pentacles could be putting in the work rebuilding the foundation spending more time quality time putting effort this person is really um rethinking a decision they made nine of pentacles and verse about some kind of commitment a partnership why is the five of wands here yeah the judgment they want to make another decision so you have the judgment in your energy taurus this person has the judgment in their energy so there is some kind of big decision that will be made okay once this is said and done because you're rethinking it they're rethinking it um but there's also again a need for communication the knight of swords in reverse what's this about and that could be what that conflict is about four pentacles and the knight of swords someone is holding back Someone is definitely holding back, but I also see this person is going to eventually communicate because we go from the Knight of Swords in reverse to the Knight of Swords. So it's like, yeah, this person can hold back, but I do think eventually all of a sudden they're going to rush right in very impulsively and communicate some truth to you. Why? Because this person wants to hold on to what they have with you. Um, Taurus, even though things are not very stable with your energy being in the King of Pentacles in reverse, they are wanting to hold on to what they have or the little bit left of what they have with you. So they will finally communicate even with all the resistance with the five of wands and the tension between you and them now in order for things to move forward with the wheel of fortune in the verse and the three of swords someone has to be willing to heal someone has to be willing to talk about the pain they've gone through their feelings regarding what the other person may have done ten of swords and verse and a page of pentacles someone has to be willing to move past this really difficult ending they've experienced accept an ending as an ending and say you know what it's okay i'm ready to move past it i'm ready to let that go i'm ready to bury that in the ground right and move past this difficult ending tens or endings 
What I also see is a page of pentacles. There could be something here you're going to offer this person. Maybe you're going to hear them out and say, you know what? I'm done with the old. I'm willing to, um, you know, accept your apology. I'm willing to page of pentacles, invest, okay? I don't see an apology, but it could be certainly... Um, a decision regarding an apology maybe this person has given you in the past it also could be a decision regarding again um saying what well, can we reconcile can we move past this ending so it could be an apology included let's see what this page of pentacles is knight of pentacles and the five of pentacles in verse so this page of pentacles this offer is like to get out of the cold with someone okay so um page of pentacles it could be extending oneself knight of pentacles to offer something stable committed um again rebuilding the friendship rebuilding the connection and again to get out of the cold get out of this place where you guys are not talking where there's so much uh you know distance between you guys okay so that's what i'm seeing i do feel there's someone here that you may get out of the cold with and again that is the challenge the tower and the five of pentacles after really difficult and um, sudden um tower moment okay there's some distance between you guys but i do feel even with this distance you both don't want to be here you don't you both don't want to be so distant from each other so there it could be a situation here where you may offer something or this person may come in with an offer ace of pentacles to move past this um there could be some kind of reconciliation here the six of cups okay so that is a challenge um to be open to this reconciliation and rebuilding this connection okay so taurus that is what i have i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're aware of when i upload these readings you don't want to miss out all right bye